Welcome to how to set up and operate the Beofeng UV5R transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part five, reset all settings, customize the voice, and save frequencies to memory. Upon first time use of the radio, we should zero out or reset the radio to its default settings. This will ensure there are no pre-programmed settings which could interfere with customizing the radio to our specific needs. To reset the radio settings, we'll use menu item 40, 40. Here's the key press sequence to enter menu mode. Switch the radio on. Frequency mode. Press menu, menu. 40, menu. Initialization. Once you've opened the reset option, you can arrow up or down to see the two options for resetting. Resetting all or resetting VFO. I'm going to exit. Selecting all will reset all options to the factory default settings and it will delete any frequencies we've entered or stored in memory. Selecting to reset VFO will reset all options but it will not delete any frequencies we've entered or stored. Remember that we can also access the reset setting or any of the menu settings by scrolling up or down. Menu, scroll up or down to the option you'd like to change. When you get to that option, Press menu to open that option or confirm your choice. Let's try it all from the beginning. Let's reset all settings. Menu, 40, menu. If you need to, arrow up to display all and press menu. It asks what source, arrow up or down to choose all again, press menu. The display will restart and all of the options have been restored to factory defaults and any frequencies you've entered or stored will have been deleted. The easy way to reset all settings is to simply enter menu mode and press menu two more times. Let's try that. Menu, 40, menu. We're in menu mode. Now just press menu two more times once, twice. All right, with all of our settings restored to factory defaults, let's change the voice prompt to English. And that will be option number 14. Menu, 14, menu. Arrow up or down to display ing, English, and press menu to confirm. So where are these frequencies stored? Menu item number 27 allows us to save frequencies into memory as a channel. However, we can save frequencies only to channel numbers that are empty with no frequencies assigned. We can scroll through all the channel numbers to see what channels have been assigned to a frequency. So open up menu item 27. Menu, menu. 27, menu. Memory channel. There's channel 0, and it has CH in front of it. That indicates that memory channel 0 has a frequency stored in it. I'm scrolling up through the rest of the channels. <clears throat> None of these have a CH in front of it. So all of these are empty. They're available for us to assign a frequency to. Uh, right now, I'm just pressing the up arrow and just holding it down, and it scrolls through the through all of the, all of the channel channels. Let's see if we can get to the end there. There is channel 127 has a CH in front of it. That means channel 127 also has a frequency stored in it. 
any channel number that does not have a CH is empty and available for storing a frequency. If we desire to replace a channel's assigned frequency, we must first delete that frequency from memory. We'll do that a bit later in this tutorial. First, let's store a channel into memory as a channel. Toggle to frequency mode using the VFO MR button. That's frequency mode. There are no channel numbers displayed. Channel mode. This is channel mode. There are channel numbers displayed. So we want frequency mode. Frequency mode. And we want to go to the A frequency. So use the AB button to make sure the triangle is marking the top line of our dual display. That's the A frequency. And we'll enter a new frequency. I'm suggesting 156. Five five five. Now let's store this new frequency into memory. So with that frequency displayed in line A, open up menu item number twenty seven. Menu twenty seven menu. menu. Now, let's use the arrow to find a channel that does not have a CH in front of it. Looks like zero is already taken, so let's plug into channel one. Press menu and exit. Now, let's verify that our new frequency has been stored into memory as a channel. Let's toggle to channel mode using the VFO MR button. Channel mode. And then use the arrows to scroll up or down. We see that we've got one, two, seven. A one, two, seven channel. Zero. A zero channel. One. And a one channel. 0, 1, and 1, 2, 7. And that channel 1 is the channel that we just assigned a frequency to. There is a second option for reset, but it's a bit confusing. The second option is VFO, which implies that it resets only the frequencies which we've entered or saved to memory as a channel. But that's not completely accurate. Using the reset VFO option resets all settings except for the frequencies which we've entered or saved. In other words, reset all and reset VFO do essentially the same thing. They both reset the radio to factory defaults, including the pre-programmed channels of 0 and 127. The difference between the two is this. Reset all resets all settings and deletes any frequencies that we've entered or saved. Reset VFO resets all settings, but it keeps the frequencies and channels that we've entered or saved. If we've entered or saved frequencies and we don't want to lose them, we should reset VFO. Let's see that in action. Now, we've entered our own frequency into an empty channel, channel 1. Let's see how reset VFO affects that stored frequency. Let's open up our reset menu. Menu, menu. 40 menu. Initialization. Scroll up or down. We want to display VFO. Press menu. It asks for source. Again, scroll up or down to VFO, press menu. So we've reset the radio using the VFO option. Is our stored frequency still there? Let's toggle to channel mode. We are in channel mode. See the channel numbers displayed to the right. So we still have, if I scroll up, channel 1, 1, two, seven. one, two, seven, zero. Zero, one. one 
So we still have those three channels. Zero, one, two, zero, one, one, two, and seven. 127. Can those pre-programmed channels be changed? Channel 0 and channel 127. Let's first attempt to delete the frequency that's stored in channel 0. So the delete option is menu number 28. Menu, menu. 28, menu. Delete channel. And let's scroll up to 0 and press menu. Confirm. It's confirmed that the frequency that had been assigned to channel 0 has been deleted. If we switch now to channel mode, we would find channel 1 and 127 as our only channels. So we're in channel mode. Scroll up. There's channel 127 showing, one. and there is channel 1 showing. One, two, but seven. there is no channel 0. So yes, one. we can delete the channel 0. Let's see if we can delete channel 127. So again, the, the menu for deleting is menu 28, menu, menu. 28, menu. Delete channel. Scroll to channel 127. That's going to be back there. And press menu. Confirm. And exit. So now if we look at our channel numbers, we've got channel 1 showing. Scroll up. One. And that's the only One. channel remaining. One. One. We successfully deleted channels 0 and channel 127. Now, can we put a new frequency into channel 0 and channel 127? Let's try it. So toggle the frequency mode. Frequency mode. No channel numbers are displayed. Make sure you're on the A line. The triangle is marking the, <clears throat> the upper line of the dual display. You can switch back and forth to show it. And let's enter a new frequency, 157.555. 157555. Now let's store this new frequency. Menu 27. Menu, menu. 27. Menu. Memory channel. Let's find an empty. There's channel 0. It has no CH, so we can use it. Receiving memory. Now there is a CH in front of the channel number 0. So Channel 0 has that new frequency stored in it. Let's add a frequency for channel 127. So let's enter a, a new frequency. We're in frequency mode because there's no channel number showing here. 158555. 158555. Five, five. And let's store this. So to store a uh, frequency into memory, use menu item 27. Menu, menu. 27, menu. Memory channel. Find channel 127. There it is. And enter menu. Receiving memory. Now channel 127 is marked with a CH, indicating that this channel has been assigned a frequency. Now let's verify that those channels, channels 0 and 127, are available. So switch to channel mode. Channel mode. It's showing channel 127 has a frequency. If we arrow up, zero. channel 0 has a frequency. And arrow one. up, channel 1 has a frequency. Three different frequencies, one, two, zero, one. three different channels and we entered them. So yes, the pre-programmed channels 0 and 127 can be deleted and replaced with our own frequencies. Good work. My name is Milt, and this has been how to set up and operate the Beofeng UV5R transceiver. Until next time, keep looking up.